Peggy in the night guard job, man. Looking forward to both these new here at school and to working with you again at the Paranormal Investigation Association team. Again, Greg, we meet again. With not only me as your guide, but with you as the guard. Anyway, thanks for taking up the assignment of signing up for the night position on the Bali at the Seas, aka the ship we're all on right now. The, the reason that us employees at the Paranormal Investigation Association team gave you that assignment was because that we wanted to go on the ship's main voyage to see if there are any ghosts on the ship, and investigate the many ghost hauntings on it. Speaking of that, when we got on the ship today, we asked Captain Baldy if any ghosts taught the ship, and suddenly, he said that there is ghosts on the ship. Six of them, in fact. He also said that there were multiple reports of ghost hauntings on previous ships, and he had to call some ghost guys to take care of them. Then, when we asked him if he minds, if we investigate the ghost hauntings on the ship, he stayed in mind. So, here we are. Anyway, I presume you're in the office right now, checking it out, and checking the cameras and the monitor on your desk, right? I hope you are. Oh, and speaking of the cameras, there's 30 of them on this ship. But, according to Captain Baldy, the last 15 cams are disabled at night for some reason. Not sure why that happened. And I'm also not sure why the balanced stern areas of the ship aren't on your camera map. But those things shouldn't be a problem, right? <laughs> now, anyway, while on the topic of that, how your job as a night guard will work on the ship will be very different compared to your school back when you worked there in 2002. Since you don't have a tape player, a faculty name tag, a spray your soda bun, and a cut wires button at all to defend yourself. But luckily, we brought our equipment on the ship with us, one of which is a ghost detector that will detect any ghosts, what their names are, how their human self died, who killed them, and how you should deal with them. Now, on to who is coming for you on this night. According to the ghost detector, it says that only one ghost will come for you on this night. And his name is The Test. No, really, that really is his name. He has empty eyes and a mouth that always stays open. How he dies unknown and who killed him is also unknown. And this is how to deal with him. Ready for this? 
he will only get you if he either sees you moving in the office or if you're looking at him on the window. When he does show up at your office, he will open the door and you will hear the door opening. If you do hear that noise, look at the office, stand still, and do not move until you hear him close the door. If you hear him close the door, that means he will leave you alone for now and you can resume with your night as usual. But don't look at the camera screen at the door on your right, okay? He will see you do that. But on the cameras, there's also a maintenance tab. And from time to time, either the vents or your cams will break. So that means if the vents break and you hear them turning off, go to the cameras, click the word, which is the maintenance tab, ventilation to reboot it. And the vents will be back on. And if you see the cameras blacked out and you only see the word camera error, click the word, which again is the maintenance tab, cameras to reboot it, and the cams will be back on. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff to take in, but just remember, you signed up to take the night guard position after all. Anyway, that's about it for tonight, so be sure to check the camera from time to time. Remember to look at the office, stand still, and to not move until the test closes the door on your right if you hear it while being it. And reboot either the vents or cameras if you ever break down. And also, be sure to click the day for us of what goes down during your shift. And you can share a day with us at breakfast, which according to the shift schedule is at 8 a.m. every day. So, anyway, that's it for reels this time. So, good luck on your first night, and I'll see you at 8. Good night.